Hey guys, this is Daniel from the Arms Family Homestead. I'm out in the shop checking on my little plants growing under the grow lights. My tomatoes are getting really tall, but my peppers and eggplants are just starting to germinate. Uh, one variety of eggplants doing pretty well. Uh, the peppers are pretty slow, but I think I'm going to pot up these tomatoes because they're all germinated and most of them are a couple inches tall and they're in a soil block that's a half inch by a half inch. And with such a, a small seed block or such a small soil block, they dry out really fast, so I think I'm going to pot them up in a little bit bigger pots. Let me show them to you real quick. So here on the left uh, is my tomatoes. And then the bottom three down here are eggplant. And the back is peppers. So you can see one variety of eggplants doing a little better than the other two, but these guys here are what I'm going to focus on. I've had them under grow lights for a couple days. But under these lights, these little bitty soil blocks dry out really fast. So I'm going to get these guys potted up into something a little bit bigger. Okay, I brought my seeds out here to the high tunnel to transplant them just so I can keep my shop a little cleaner. And I've got everything I need down here. Let me show you these since we're out. I apologize. If that plastic noise is just loud and crazy today, it is a windy, windy, windy day here in Oklahoma. But let me show these to you now that we're outside. And you may be able to see them a little bit better than you could in the shop. I'm not doing anything fancy. I just saved some old six pack containers from uh, flowers and plants that we bought in previous years. I just reuse them instead of throwing them away. So I get these filled up about, oh, three quarters of the way full with some potting mix and put my little tomatoes in them. Bitty guys. Man, that is some tedious, tedious work. So I think I've learned one thing. The little half inch by half inch soil blocker that makes these guys right here. I'm not too sure it's right for me. Um, it works great. It's good at getting all those little seeds to germinate, uh, but you really gotta pot up those plants pretty fast. Now, would it work for like, say my neighbor, who's a, a market gardener who needs to grow and start and grow like a hundred tomato plants and a hundred pepper plants at once? Yes, that's very effective for him. For me, somebody that's only going to grow, you know, a couple dozen tomatoes and, you know, a couple dozen pepper plants, I, I don't know that that's the most effective. Now, it's a good way of getting all those seeds on that heat mat. Don't get me wrong. But you just better be ready to start potting up some plants really fast because those guys were drying out so fast on those little soil blocks. When I put them under the lights, that light put off just enough heat to dry those things out. So you had to water them two or three times a day. So does it work? Yes. But is it for me? I don't know. Not, I'm not sure yet. I'll probably use it a couple more times and just try it. But I think I like the big soil blocks much better. <music> everything back in here under the grow lights uh, I'll give them a little time they'll stand back up reach for that light again hopefully we didn't stress them out too much potting them up is they're little bitty guys pretty small to be repotting already but I had to get them out of those little bitty soil blocks so 
We'll see how it works. This is all an experiment. Never used that small of a soil block before. This is my first time. So hopefully it all works out. Hopefully I didn't just kill them all. But if I did, if you remember, I have those other ones down in the high tunnel that I started in there. So I have quite a few backups if that works out. If maybe this, if this fails, maybe that one will work out. Heck, I don't know. They all might die. Who knows? It's, it's, it's just a learning process. So thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video.